everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things beauty and skincare related. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing my typical uh, luxurious morning skincare routine. If you guys are interested in seeing this luxurious routine, then keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so if you know me very well, you guys know I just, you know, I obviously love luxury skincare and I just obviously got a new, a lot of new products around the holidays and I'm gonna do a fun little day time routine for you guys. So I wanted to bring you along the way. So first things first, in the morning, as you guys know, if, you, if you're new here, I don't use a cleanser, like a foaming wa cleanser with water in the morning. I just think it's too much on my skin since I have such a vigorous night routine be from the night before. Before, um, I always found doing another cleanse first thing in the morning for my skin personally to just be too much for it and in return I end up getting more breakouts so I don't do the whole like cleansing moment however I will either go in with a toner and this may sound contradictive contradictive but I do go in with a micellar water, a gentle micellar water. So the micellar water I'll be using today is my La Mer, the cleansing micellar water right here. You guys, this is so, 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 so gentle. If you have sensitive skin, I'm telling you guys, this is the micellar water for you. It's not my favorite La Mer. <sighs> I just love La Mer. Oh, woo! Uh, if you need something super, super sensitive, I'd recommend this micellar water. However, I don't think it's the greatest micellar water on the market, but I definitely think it's effective and very refreshing. Like right now, it is giving me the nicest cooling effect on my skin. Wow. I've been using the Drunk Elephant Milky Micellar Water and I haven't used my La Mer Micellar Water in a long time and holy crow, I kind of miss it. Oh God. So this feels amazing. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Should I just buy another one? Should I just buy a new one? So here we go, you guys. I'm just coming up and per close and personal with you. Um, I did have a little bit of a blemish right there. So that's healing up nicely. I spot treated that the night before and fell asleep. Okay, you guys, this is what it picked up. So not only is it super gentle and hydrating and it smells divine, uh, it also cleans very well. Wow, I miss this micellar water. I'm gonna have to do, if you guys wanna see a comparison between the La Mer micellar water and the Drunk Elephant micellar water, let me know and I'll be sure to save some of this for us. But now I'm gonna move in with to the Plump Plump Hyaluronic Acid by Glow Recipe right here. You guys, this one has its own review video. I've been using this for quite some time now. I go in with about two pumps. Um, I do like it. It's clear, it has no fragrance, and it just is a nice morning burst of hydration to my skin. I always bring down moisturizers and serums to my neck area to prevent anti-aging since your neck area is one of the first spots to really tell somebody's age. Next, I am going to go in, like after I'm done with my micellar water and then my serum, I like to kind of let that marinate and just let it everything soak in so I don't go through my steps so fast. I then go in with my eye cream. So the eye cream that I, uh, like I'm sampling right now is ridiculously, ridiculously expensive. Like, in, like mind blowing. And it is the La Prairie Switzerland White Caviar Eye Extraordinaire right here. Like, let's have a moment of silence for its price. And I'm using this like very sparingly. I'm like, oh my God, I don't wanna like go through the sample. The cool thing though, this is it on, the, on my finger. The cool thing about eye cream samples is you get such a long time out of them. Like just a little hint, if you don't wanna drop a ton of money, try to get a couple samples from a counter. You know what I mean? You don't really need to buy the whole thing. That's just an opinion of mine, but here you go, it feels super nice and luxe, and I just bring it all under my eyes. You don't get the whole La Prairie, like super insanely nice packaging experience just by getting their samples. So, I mean, if you could afford it, I would recommend getting the full jar because it's seriously a whole experience. But this has been super nice to at least test out for me because there's no way I'm going and buying like a over $500 eye cream without sampling it first. So this is a nice uh, 
sample and this is supposed to give you like a luminous like glow underneath your eyes and I love this one's texture in particular. It's very velvet and light feeling but you can tell it's luxe. It's not super sticky and it's not like so hydrating underneath your eye that you feel like I don't know like it's just sticky hydrating like this sets in nice and is easy to move under your eye just up just heads up it's it's nice unfortunately it's super nice so moving on I'm gonna go in with my daytime moisturizer you guys this is my one of my newest babies we're gonna pet her because remember I told you guys I was like missing Sicily I was like I just miss that brand so I jumped back into the brand and I got the Velvet Nourishing Cream with Saffron Flowers right here. You guys, this is so new to my routine. Like this is only my second time using it. So I just wanted to share these experiences with you guys. Uh, it is nice. This cream is supposed to be used day and night. It's supposed to be geared for very, very dry skin. Um, and it's supposed to keep you super moisturized. My skin is definitely normal. I'm not too oily. I am not too dry. I have a perfect balance between both. But I still wanted to try Sisley's Nourishing Cream because it says velvet on it. And let me tell you something. Sicily products, any of these products, if they say velvet on it, you know it's gonna feel like velvet. And I just want to experience this. Made in France, you get 1.6 fluid ounces. It's superb. So I'm gonna open it up. This is only my second experience. Of course, you get that Sicily logo, boom. This is full size. I just went full on in. Cause I'm familiar with the Sicily brand. So I had no problem with just kind of like getting the full packaging. Here it is inside. Of course, all of these are gonna get their own separate. Oh my God. Oh, the, this texture honestly just took my breath away the texture the texture you guys it's getting its own video just give me a little more time with it so i can get more details on it and we're gonna get that one popping asap but i am just putting this on honestly this smells like grapes <laughs> like it's nice it's like fruity it smells like is it the saffron flowers that i'm smelling i don't know but it's honestly it smells like grapes and i'm not mad at it so we are just massaging this in and it feels insane like insane like oh my god insane like thank god I bought it I have zero regrets so now at this point I'm feeling expensive I'm feeling expensive my skin is looking expensive I mean look at it I am so happy I feel like I don't even need makeup at this point like I'm just like radiating with like like this gorgeous French Sicily glow and I am just like beyond obsessed. You guys, I have to contain myself. You know what? I'm not going to start making bold claims until I get, I get a little more time with it because I'm starting to get carried away. But I'm going to finish this off. You guys know I love my spritzes. Uh, I bet, and you guys know I'm, I'm really loving this new luxury skincare brand uh, from Beverly Hills. It's the brand Serum. And they sent me their Rose Hydrating Face Mist right here. This was sent to me for free. Um, however, with no obligation to post, I'm just posting it because I use this. Um, I've been using it a lot. So here we go. The spritzer on this is pretty powerful. Like, like, it's very like, I'm wasting it. God, no. But um, it's, a, it's a straight shooter. It's not like a fine mist. So the only thing I would recommend with this is just to really like spray it from like a far off distance. And I'm like drenched in it. And I just let that kind of sit on top of my skin sink in it smells gorgeous the packaging is great it smells like rose roses and honestly i'm feeling fresh i'm feeling fresh to death and i'm ready to take on my day no makeup needed and i'm not even kidding put on some good lipstick though girl you always need some good lipstick at least but uh what more can i need with this glowing skin everybody thanks for tuning in if you haven't done so already subscribe to my channel i'm always showing you guys luxury skincare routines luxury skincare products that i'm getting you guys i'm very passionate about luxury skincare because i feel like there is a huge gap on youtube of dedicated luxury skincare influencers and i have no problem taking on that title because it's something that i'm super passionate about and i'm just honestly if luxury skincare is something that you can can't afford um like honestly please there are tons of other skincare influencers that review um much more affordable skincare products that are more they're more knowledgeable with the, those specific brands this is really just a 
like whether you if you could afford it great buy it but if you can't that my channel is almost like a guilty pleasure like I'm trying these products so you guys don't have to and you I could like share these experiences with you and that's something I take great pleasure in doing. You guys follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting pictures of me, what I'm wearing, also my skincare products and also follow me on the Like to Know It app where you can shop the products that I talk about as well as my clothes. Everybody, I hope you have a luxurious, velvety, smooth, hydrating day. Love you. Bye.